Alright. Uh. Mm, oh dear. Alright, I should be able to do a, I should be able to do reasonable commentary. Oh dear. Hey everyone, it's me, Doom Link, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Uh, this is part 33, I believe. Or is it? Is it? Yeah, I believe it's... Huh. Hey everyone, it's me, Doom Link, and welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Today is the... Oh god, what is it? Uh, it's the 27th of December 2015, and that Deku Baba was very close to getting us there. Uh, it is the... oh god, what... not the date this time, I'm trying to think of the part, I believe it's part 32. No, part 33, sorry, that's right. Oh Jesus, okay. Um, a quick way up here, of course, would be using the claw shot. Uh, I'm just coming back through here, through this dungeon, so I can go and acquire two pieces of heart. And once I acquire these two pieces of heart, I will be able to get another heart container. But that is not all that we are going to be doing in this video in terms of uh, getting heart pieces. We have a lot of work to do. Okay, this will be good, yeah. Come on, Shield Bash should be able to do something. Yeah, there we go. Shield Bash, of course. Oh god, yeah, do your sheathing. I don't care. Alright, of course. This is why we need the Claw Shot to be able to access this area again. We have to do that because, of course, the monkeys have disappeared now, so... Right, that makes sense. Okay, so we missed a heart piece in this room, which is very silly of us, actually. We need to go and drop a bomb on that flower there, so let's go over this way. Uh, you know what? Who cares about these walking bombs? You know what? No, I'm not impressed with you. I'm killing you. Well, yeah, not really killing you, but what am I doing? Okay, no, everything is just not working. As per usual in this game, I'm going through like 50 different, uh, what do you call it, menus to get to where I actually want to go. Let's drop this down there. Of course, we can't skip this. It takes so long for this to explode. It's quite terrible. Uh, I'm sorry if you can hear the birds outside, by the way. They are very loud. I am aware of this. But there's not too much I can do about it. Now, where is this thing that we need to drop the uh, bomb into? Is it just here? Where is it? This is very strange. I can't see where it is now. I need to need to see where it is again. Okay, it's there, so what does that mean? Okay, we need to go higher, I guess. I'm a little bit concerned about these Deku Barbers. They're really giving me the shits right now. So, we need to go higher. So, let's go higher. Indeed. Uh, do that. And then, I should have used the claw shot actually here because this would have saved time, but oh well. I'm not that smart, of course. So, oh, this guy's gonna crawl after us. Let's just use him as the bomb. Why not? Seeing as though he's here. Oh, never mind. I missed it. I don't really want it to explode on me, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, yes. Then we have to wait for the bomb to actually explode inside it. Oh dear. Once again, I do apologize for the birds. They are really going nuts at the moment, and there's not too much I can do about it in terms of the sound that's going to be heard. It's very loud indeed. And there is a piece of heart. That is the first... Wait, what? Did that just say that I collected five pieces? Oh my god, here I go again, going through a thousand different frickin'... Anyway, um... <laughs> uh, I'm not going to go into it. Anyway, okay, so we got that heart piece. Now we want to go into the room adjacent to this one, which is directly ahead. And it's good because the two heart pieces in this dungeon are quite close to one another. It is very strange that we never got a compass in this dungeon. There mustn't be a compass here. Either either that or I just totally missed it. Which is very strange. But oh, here we go again. Me going to the wrong freaking menus. So we want to equip the Gale Boomerang here. We'll do that. We might as well destroy these guys. That should be a one-shot, realistically, with the Master Sword. Yeah, it is. It's a one-shot because, of course, the spin attacks are quite strong. And we are using the Master Swords, so... Yeah, that is pretty helpful. Might as well kill all of these guys. So yeah, basically, uh, to explain what that did... Oh, come on. C 
Come on, guys, don't be stupid. You know what? I don't even care about you. I don't need to kill you. So the idea here is that we want to put out the fire that is already lit on these torches, and that will actually lower these staircases, and we will be able to access this chest. That's basically what we just did with the Gale Boomerang. Okay, so I don't believe we suddenly get Uku back. No, we don't, so we can't get a shortcut back out of this dungeon. But uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to return to the Sacred Grove because there was a heart piece that I forgot there. So I will see you guys back at the Sacred Grove. That is annoying. Okay. So I'm back, everyone. Uh, it turns out that we can't actually return to the Sacred Grove. I, I thought that maybe we would need to... Howl Zelda's Lullaby, but it's not actually giving us an option to Howl Zelda's Lullaby. And it seems that we can't really get through here at the moment. Uh, there is a temple that is in this general area later on, so I think... Once that happens, unless... No, both of these are lit. Okay. See, it kind of looks like it's not lit when you're running around and turning. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's not really something that we can do right now, unfortunately. I didn't actually intend to transform into a human there. I wanted to warp. Those birds are so fucking loud. Okay, let's warp to Castletown in the Lanayru province. We're not actually warping to Castletown. We're actually like, or Castle Town, I should say. Uh, we're just warping outside of the castle. So it's not like we're going directly. See, look, we're in Hyrule Field. We're not in Castle Town, so or the Castle Town. I don't really care. I don't care about correct pronunciation at this point. It's two words, so it should be Castle Town, not Castle Town. Anyway. So, what we want to do, basically, is we want to learn a new sword technique. And, uh... I to, oh, these guys are freaking out. Okay, I can't transform right here, it seems. I'll have to go in here. Oh, come on. Who the hell's going to see me? Where do I go to not get seen, then? Is anyone going to see me here? Oh, come on. I bet I can't even do it inside Castle Town at all. That's probably what I have to do. I have to go out here first and then transform. Of course, I can't, I can't really go and learn a sword technique as a wolf, because wolves don't use swords, in case you didn't know. Whoa, that's a nice view. Anyway, um... So, yeah, what we're going to do now is go to a new area of Hylia, or Hyrule, I should say. Why do I keep saying Hylia? We're going to go to a new area within Hyrule that we haven't actually gone yet. It is just south of Hyrule Castle, so what we'll do is we'll go through the Hyrule Town, or Castle Town Square, and go south out of this place, because we haven't actually done that yet, and I have been meaning to do that at one point or another. I don't want to talk to you. You look like you have Down Syndrome. Okay, let's go. That was a bit rude of me. I apologize, but he did. He looked like he had a serious issue. Anyway, so let us now enter this new area of Hyrule Field, where we have not actually gone yet, as you can see. This is a new area that has been opened to us in the map. Oh, that's right. There is indeed a Poe here. So let us go. Well, I say that's right as if, you know, I knew that, but I didn't really. I don't really know these things, you see. I just pretend. Alright, so that's a Poe soul for us. I think there are something like 50 Poe souls to get in the entire world, so as you can imagine there isn't really a shortage of Poe's that are hanging around. I think for the most part you have to wait until it's night time to get Poe's. Because, you know, ghosts hang around at night. Because spooky things, anyway. Pretty sure that the wolf is around here somewhere. Don't know where he is exactly. There he is, okay. That was a total guess. Oh. Right, so we need to transform into a human. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if he saw us transforming into a human. So I have no idea what we're going to be learning right here in terms of a sword technique, so... Yeah, we'll have to find out. Funnily enough, um, basically the whole of the water temple, if you couldn't remember, or if you didn't really notice, the whole of it, or the lake bed temple, I guess you would say correctly. There weren't many enemies to fight, were there? There were a couple of keys, there were a few charging things, and an odd frog here and there, but it was definitely not a monster-based dungeon. It was very much puzzle-related, you know. Anyway, we meet again. 
This next is the this next is the greatest of the oh wow here we go the greatest of the hidden skills I have taught you to this point and it may test the limits of your endurance. Do you still wish to master it? I do indeed very well. I actually can't remember what it is anyway. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to demonstrate the back slice now. Alrighty. Like how Link is just stuck in the middle of doing a spin attack anyway. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost eye. Yeah, yeah, he says the same thing. Oh, the Helm Splitter. I remember this one. This is kind of, uh... I think Link does something kind of similar to this against the Ga against Ganondorf. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just stutter a little bit more, shall I? Yeah, against Ganondorf in the final fight of Wind Waker. You kind of jump over the enemy and slice their head open. It is impossible to circle around and perform a backslice against a fully ar against fully armored enemies that move swiftly in combat. Against such flo foes, God, you know what? Who cares? If you will leap into the air, oh yeah, if there is definitely an if in that sentence, you know. So it looks like a shield bash is involved in that too. This is the helm splitter. Okay, I'm pretty sure we need to do a shield bash there. Whoops, I think we need to yeah, and then helm splitter. That's it. All right. Hmm, impressive. Do not miss your chance to land a Helm Splitter with A after your shield attack. The fourth hidden skill, the Helm Splitter, has been passed on. Alrighty. You've learned the fourth hidden skill, the Helm Splitter. Stun foes with a shield attack, then press A to attack from above. There are still three hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training. Yeah, 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 we've heard this before. So we still have three hidden skills that we need to learn, okay. I mean, I don't know if we should be looking for Howling Stones right now. I don't think we do. I'm pretty sure there's one in a sandy place where we're going to be going soon, but... Well, not really soon, because there are places that we need to go still. Oh, dear. Where, where is it that we need to go now? Um... God, there are... Okay, that's right. Lake Hylia. Let's go head off to Lake Hylia, shall we? Uh, what's this... Let's go over here, seeing as though there's something for us to claw shot to. I don't really know what's happening here. Oh. I guess we need the upgraded claw shot to be able to get to that. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, that just killed us, so that's a sad moment. Let's just go ahead and warp to Lake Hylia. Oh, okay. That ended up being a shortcut to Lake Hylia. How about that? Okay, there should be... Oh, there's a Poe over here. Let's go transform into a wolf and go and fight this Poe because, of course, we do need to be a wolf to fight Poes because we require our sense to be able to fight these guys. I'll attack you there. Come over here. No, where are you? There you are. Okay, now we can go get the Poe soul. I think that makes our fifth or fourth. I don't know. What is this? Uh, let's have a look. That is our fourth Poe soul. Okay. Now I'll go and attack this grass to get rupees because I'm just a rupee freak, as you know. Um, there is a rock that we need to blow up around here somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is. It's probably around here somewhere. Or maybe it's over... I don't know where it is, to be honest. But for now, we're going to go over to where the... What is it? I don't really know what to call it, to be honest. I'm sure that there is a proper term to use. But wherever Laneru hangs out, you know, that big snake person... Who is probably female. Yeah, well, we need to go and find where Laneru hangs out. And I know roughly where she hangs out anyway. But I don't really know the proper term to use. What is it? Come on. Spring of the Spirit, Laneru. So, I mean, I've been saying Spirit Spring. That doesn't sound like an incorrect thing to call it. So, I'll just keep on calling it that, shall I? So, we're going to transform into a human and go to the right over here. And there are going to be some vines that we need to go and claw shot to. Keep in mind that we couldn't do this until we had the claw shot in the first place. So even though I've been here a few times now... Oh, yeah, because I've been a wolf, basically. Uh, previously. And before that, we didn't actually have the claw shot. So, yeah, this is the first time we have been here with the claw shot. What I'm going to do here... No! Terrible! Terrible! Okay. Let's go and equip the... Uh, of course, if you want to speed that up, you can just do that. 
which is good to know. You can hold the R, or the L button, I should say, and it's a, it's a direct select, so you don't have to go all the way around. You can just go up there like that. I should get in the habit of doing that, really. But anyway, we are going to open these two chests, which will probably have rupees in them. Got a blue rupee, thank you very much. At some point, I should go into the lake bed temple and get all of the rupees that are there. Oh, bombs. Well, thank you very much. How many bombs do we... No! How many bombs do we have? We have 30. Okay, good to know. And, of course, we're going to light these two things to light with the lantern. I don't really know what to call them. I wouldn't really call them torches. I don't know. I think they're just little basins with oil in them, and then you just light them. I'm not sure. And, of course, there is a piece of heart right there for us. Now, there are a few things that we want to do in Lake Hylia right now. There are two more things that are going to give us a piece of heart. Uh, we'll just... Well, is that a... That looks like a hookshot thing, but I don't really know how we're going to reach that. Well, that looks like a thing that we are going to want to do with the upgraded claw shot anyway. Did I say hookshot before? I didn't mean to. Of course, I am in a habit of saying hookshot simply because in all other Zelda games it's referred to as the hookshot because it's... Uh, I don't know, there's no claw involved, so obviously you're not going to be saying claw shot. Look at all of these rupees. I will take all of these rupees and enjoy them very much. I mean, I just want lots and lots of rupees, basically. The more rupees I can get, the better, because I can easily get rid of rupees when I do get max uh, through the guy where you do donate rupees, and once I get a thousand, or once I donate up to a thousand, I will get uh, a heart piece. So once that happens, that will be great. Uh, now, let us... I think it's this way. I think we want to go this way. It really is difficult to know where I should be going, because, of course, a lot of these guides that I do follow in terms of, like, getting heart pieces, the issue with them is... Well... Oh, is that a howling stone? That is totally a howling stone, and we are totally going to go to that howling stone, like, right now. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, the problem is a lot of these heart piece guides that I do look at the issue with them is they're all for the freaking Wii version. Which isn't a surprise. Apparently the GameCube version of this game is a little bit rare. And I think it does make sense for more people to play the Wii version, because I think that was just... it was released more, obviously. What is that in the distance? Is that a wolf? I don't know. It's, oh, it must be a golden bug. That works out really well. There's a bomb. There's a thing to bomb over there. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so there are three things in sight right now. There's... That to blow up, which will access a piece of heart. There's this here, which we're going to go and howl to. I'll transform into a wolf. Of course. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Was that it, or... Must have been slightly off. Does it go up after that? Oh, it goes up. Okay, it keeps going. I shouldn't have stopped it there. God damn it, this is a long one. Alright, I just guessed that last one, of course. Skip this cutscene here. Then we have to howl. It's pretty easy at this point because we can just go and follow the directions here. Then we have to watch this cutscene again. Oh, great. This is excellent. I love this. Not really. Look, it's okay the first time, but I just don't want to see it anymore. Why is there a Colosseum in the background? What's going on? Wait, there's more than one? It looked like there were more than one there. Anyway. Well, there was more than one. Yeah, yeah. Say the same thing you always say. Then, of course, we're going to find out where this one's hiding. We may even go to him. It is possible that we won't be able to reach him yet, though. He might be in the place with the sand. I was correct about that. He is indeed in the place with the sand. As you can see, there's a big portion of the map 
that is blanked out. And that encompasses two areas where the mirror shards are located. One of them is Snow Peak, and the other one is a, a place with lots of sand. Yeah, well... Look, the only reason why I said Snow Peak is because it's been mentioned already in, in the game, so... Yeah, anyway, um, let's go transform into a human. I'll go and deal with this golden bug first, while I could see it. <gasps> okay, <laughs> we don't want to run, up, run over the edge, that would be terrible. Because it was night time, I could see this golden bug... This golden bug quite easily. I think they're a little bit harder to spot in the daytime, but it should still be there. It should still be there. I think. I think. Don't tell me it needs to be night time for the golden bugs as well. That's just annoying. That's terrible. Or maybe it's at the top of this thing. That's always possible. Let's see if I'm correct about that. I don't even know what this is. I'm pretty sure this is for later on in the game, but anyway. Let's go to the top here, and maybe there will be a golden bug. What the hell? I thought it was about time for you to arrive. Wait, what? No. Master Link, is it? You do know Telma, don't you? I'm Oru. I'm part of the group that Telma kindly allows to meet at the bar. I've heard all about your deeds from her. Now, you've been a courageous youth. You li you have likely heard of the strange events in the desert and come to investigate. No, no! Or am I mistaken? You do know, don't you, Link? Master Link, the Gerudo Desert once held a prison built to hold the worst criminals this land has ever known. The criminals who were sentenced to death were sent directly to the underworld by a cursed mirror that was kept in the prison. Now that prison is condemned, and even the road leading to the desert is impassable. This desert at world's end, it still holds the cursed mirror and the malice of the doomed inmates. These old bones know that the evil currently plaguing Hyrule is related to this wicked place. So I have come to learn the truth. Master Link, I must ask, what will you do now? Will not go to the Gerudo Desert because I'm busy. Don't tell me you plan to enter the desert and confirm my... Yes. Ah, is that so? Then that good old... Oh. Yeah, yeah, fire. Okay. Ah, this is... Okay, so I think he's going to shoot us into the desert or something. Possibly. Well, at least we haven't... It's not like the last time we accidentally visited Telma's bar. And we couldn't uh, go back and do things we wanted to do at that time. Like, we were stuck doing the stuff that the story wanted us to do. Oh, dear. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of gas again, guys. I apologise, you know. Stuff that's going to make me belch on camera, which is not very social. Anyway, okay, these plans we will do. We will deal with those plans once we want to do things relating to the story. But anyway, let's go here, get the bombs. Put down the bombs. And I think once we get in here, we are going to want to turn into a wolf. Because there is going to be a certain someone we want to fight in here. I believe. And you'll see him in a moment if I am indeed correct about that. And I'm not too sure if I am correct. I think I'm correct about that. Well, it's a good thing I didn't turn into a wolf anyway, because there's another thing we need to blow up, and there's another thing we need to blow up. There's another thing we need to blow up. There are a few things we need to blow up here. Uh, anyway, I'll probably go... No! Stop hitting the wrong thing, Doom Link. What is wrong with you? Anyway... I always do that when I play this game. I hit the wrong the wrong thing. Always the wrong thing. I'm getting annihilated by keys. What's wrong with me? Lots of things, apparently. Anyway, so... Is this even where I want to be? I think this is where I want to be. I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, this uh, I don't recognise this, though, unless there's... Something up here? What the hell? Yeah, I don't really recognise this place, but whatever. Let's just keep on going through here. No, stop! God, I'm just... Uh, it's my fault, obviously. It's not the fault of the game or anything that I'm doing this, but anyway. And by this, you know what I'm talking about. There's another chest here, so I'm going to go open this. That's a yellow rupee. I will not complain about that. Now, I think there are... Oh, there's... 
There's a few things that we need to blow up in here, it seems. Go do that. We have some lantern oil to spare anyway. I don't mind too much using that stuff. And of course, I'm getting a lot of rupees here. Can't complain about that. Oh dear, there are a few things to kill here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that this is not where we... Oh no, this is where we want to be going. There's the Poe at the end. Okay. Cool. So I am going the right way. Shows you how much I actually look ahead. You know, I mean, yeah, I use walkthroughs to see generally where I want to go, but I don't really like to spoil it, spoil it that much for myself, you know. I like it to be some kind of fun. And the fun that I get in playing these games is just experiencing them all over again, because I tend to forget a lot about them, so... Oh, here I am going to the wrong menu again. That's our fifth post soul. Now we will transform into a human again, and go and... Light this torch. Put down another bomb. Put down a bomb here. Plenty of places for us to be going. <laughs> oh dear, we don't want to do that. No, climb up, you idiot. Okay, that's not... This is crazy. Sure, maybe this isn't where I wanted to go. Whatever, this is an adventure anyway. Yeah, okay, let's just open this. I don't care anymore. Alright, arrows, that's good to know. Guess we're going to want to equip arrows. No, stop! What is wrong with me? Good freaking question. Anyway. So, of course, there's a Beemos that we want to destroy further up here. Alrighty. Got him. Let's go light this so we don't have to use our lantern oil. That doesn't offer too much light, does it? But it's better than nothing. Uh, do we want to push or pull this? Is that going to do anything? What's there? Nothing? Okay. Let's go and get our bombs. I hope that reaches that rock. Probably doesn't, you know. No, it does. Okay, cool. There's another chest for us here. God, lots of rupees. Lots and lots. Alrighty, there's a single rupee there, and a single heart. Good fun. This is really weird, I mean, I don't know, maybe... Maybe there is a piece of heart down here. I th oh, I think this is where it is, isn't it? Yeah, come on, this has to be it. I think it appears in the centre here. Yeah. If this isn't a piece of heart, I'll be extremely surprised. I'm pretty sure it is one. Oh, wow, it's a orange rupee. Well, I'm not going to complain about that anyway. That's pretty cool. Let's put down a bomb here. It is surprising how quickly you run out of lantern oil. But I guess it does make sense, because otherwise what would be the point of buying lantern oil? I mean, seriously. Because ultimately, why is this one already lit? Anyway, oh, it's this guy high. But yeah, I think it makes sense that... Oh, yeah, that does a lot of damage. But yeah, it's good that, in the end, lantern oil does get used quite quickly, because, you know, it makes it important for us to have lantern oil in a bottle, or important for us to buy lantern oil. I like stuff like that. No, don't do that. No, you are terrible. I didn't mean to do that. I thought that maybe it would give me a chance to either yes, go there, or no, go there, but of course it just forces me to leave. You are terrible. Alrighty. Well, whatever. At least we can go back in there. What? You... Okay, I'm gonna cut, guys. This is just terrible. Alright, so there's another thing for us to blow up here that we actually went past, so I guess it's a good thing that we did come back this way anyway. Let's go and see what's hiding in here for us. It probably would have been better to wait for the smoke to clear, realistically. But you see, I'm not that smart. Okay, I didn't even get any of those tektites. That was terrible. No shortage of tektites, of course. There's lots hanging around. I think one of those, one of those three, had actually come from the previous bunch of tektites that I didn't kill this time around. Anyway, so let us now go back to where. 
we had left unintentionally. I knew I shouldn't have done that. I knew that would lead to some crap. Okay, go to the sign. Oh, that's great. That's really good for those guys. I will keep that in mind for later. Thought I saw a blue rupee there. So this is this has ended up being a pretty good place to get rupees, so yeah, that's cool. Oh no, 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 <laughs> you dickhead. Don't tell me you're gonna put me at the start again, no. It's done it, hasn't it? I'm gonna kill someone. Yeah, really funny. Alright, I'm back. So, that was really annoying, of course, having to go through all of that again. Oh, yeah, really fun. Super great. Love that. Anyway, um... Okay, well, that didn't really work out, did it? This should work out. Oh, what? Didn't even end up happening. What? That was one attack. I'm going, what? 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 A thousand times, which makes me look like an idiot. Anyway. Alright, there's another one of these things here. So, we need to be careful. That's what messed us up last time. Maybe I should use a lantern here. That would be best, even though I can't see crap. 